actually know where I'm going. I'm heading down this pathway. I know where I am, but I don't know where I'm going. Anyone got a clue how to find the little lone tree down at uh, Derwent Water near Keswick? Because I don't. Anyway, I'm parked up in the Cat Bells car park. And if you didn't see my last video, it's a bit of a weird video, but I went up Cat Bells for sunrise. So I thought to myself, I need to see this lone tree. I need to see what the craze is about, what the fuss is about, see what it looks like. I thought I'd come down to the water's edge, if I can find it, find this lone tree sort of thing that sticks out the side of the cliff, if I can find yeah. it, and do some reviews and make a video. So, let's see if we can find it. Luck may have it. We've got water. That be Dermot water, I'm sure it is. And we've got a jetty and we've got a an infinity fence. How cool is that? Definitely up a photographer's street, isn't it? Uh, problem is it leads over to rubbish, but there is an infinity fence there. Um, so I just need to scout around and see what we've got on offer and see if I can find this little lone tree that everybody wants to shoot in the Lake District. Now I've just realised I've been here before with Mrs C many, many moons ago. It's the jetty for halls. Uh, it probably says on there as well. We've got a signpost if you're interested. We've got Cat Bells, third of a mile that way, or the start of it. Uh, Portis scale. We've got hand sculpture, half a mile that way. Low, low brand, brand, Brandle Hall, Brandle Hall, jetty. Oh, I can't read. I'm not a reader, am I? Let's have a little look at the, I was going to say the seaside, but it's not the seaside. It's chilly though, it's definitely chilly. This pathway leads all the way around Derwent Water. So if you wanted a good walk, you could actually walk all the way around and I've already started and it's very pretty already just in this little section here this little bay this little beach you've got rocks in the water you've got trees overhanging leaning into the water this one here is just amazing it's leaning over it's got all the roots showing still because it's still alive it's still growing upwards even though it's at 90 degrees that is phenomenal but yeah this should be an interesting little walk if nothing else about finding the uh, tree sticking out the rocks but the roots are fascinating the roots are sticking look at the way all these roots are here I mean obviously the tide comes in or the water level has been high and it's washing all the soil and the, you know the grit around and uh, it just leaves the trees roots bare but it's fascinating and scary as well because you can imagine these roots being alive and trying to grab all of your feet like you see in the fairy tales but yeah they're pretty impressive so you've probably seen a couple of images I put up on the screen of uh, trees. This little walk through here has got a couple of fantastic dead trees. There's a, an old oak tree back there that would make an absolutely great, yeah, an absolutely great star trail shot because the tree is just big and broad and the sky is completely clear behind it. So it would make a fantastic place for a star trail. So I'll bear that one in mind for the future. Last night would have been perfect as well because the stars were out last night were fantastic. You know, I said I didn't know where this tree was. I hadn't a clue, and I honestly didn't have a clue. I just knew the bay it was on. So you can't Google this thing. It doesn't tell you, and you can't see it. <laughs> well, I just rounded the path, and I'm glad I took the left path and not the straight on path. And it's right in front of me. I can see it. I think it is anyway. So I've managed to get my camera 
set up in a quite a nice position. Uh, the, the trees, the classic tree leaning right out, sticking out in the rocks. Um, by bringing my tripod right over to the edge of the cliff and I'm glad I brought this tripod with me with the extension on it. I really am pleased. I've got the camera right up as high as it possibly goes, which is about, I don't know, just, well, my head height's 5'8", so it's just above my head height. Um, we've got blue skies, which is not ideal, but we have got some snow on the mountains behind. Uh, Blencafra, I think that is. Um, so I'm focusing on the tree and I've got a leading line from the bottom left hand corner leading me up. And then I've got the tree nice and prominent in it, as big as I can, zoomed in, which means I can see the mountain a little bit behind it as well then. Um, and it seems to work really, really well. So I've got my two second timer on, I'm F8. I'm gonna try one at F11 just to see if I get a bit more depth out of it. Um, focus on the tree, there's no movement, it's dead still, so it doesn't matter how long the shutter speed is. Two second timer, let it go, and I'm bracketing to make sure I get the detail from the tree and the sky so I'm not overexposing because the rocks are really really dark and the sky is quite bright. Um, there is some cloud coming across which if it does might make it a bit more interesting. Um, I'd like to take a horizontal one but I'm not quite sure I think it's too much empty space on the left hand side but maybe a horizontal long exposure but what I'm going to try is by putting a polarizer on and see if that makes any difference whatsoever so we'll give that a go. I've actually gone for a horizontal shot and do you know what I quite like it I think it might need a little bit more balancing maybe coming down a little bit lower so that I can have the mountain underneath it a bit more but what I like about it is you can see the clouds over on the left and I've got this reflection so I don't want to go too wide so it is a big patch of water but I do think it works so I'm going to use less water in the bottom of the frame, tree sticking out the rocks. I might just move the tripod round a little bit so I can get the edge of the tree coming out of its own rock rather than the rock in front of it. That's a bit better. But I only want right on the edge because I don't particularly want, I don't really want the, the tree that's coming over from the left. Um, but what I am getting is a bit of reflection in the water from... Um, from the snow-capped mountain which I think is quite nice so I'm just gonna try and get I'm wide right open at 18 mil f11 focus on the tree I'm gonna take this one and then I'm gonna try a longer exposure and I've just noticed the tip of the tree is just outside the frame let's get that back in by tilting it up slightly right let's put the long exposure filter on uh, probably a 10 stop for fun up on the top of there in the dark pitch black right up on the top waiting for sunrise if you haven't seen that video do check that video out well worth it I'll put a link up in the top corner for you still here playing with this tree um, I went up the bank a little bit to try and have a look but I didn't like it because it was hitting the water line um, it's in a position where I really want to be facing that way because I've got light on the hills in front of the, the mountains, which is a shot on its own in all fairness. Um, so what I've done now, I've gone, I've gone horizontal again, I've gone, I've gone wide. Got the 10 stop on, trying with, without. Again, we've got some nice clouds now, some, something a little bit different other than that blue sky. So there's a little bit of texture up there, but the light is shining on the top of... Um, whatever that one is over there, the big one with a snow bit on it. I'm just gonna wind the exposure down a little bit so we get a variation between long and short and then if it's too long, I'll try the six stop. So 
So I've come round up onto the top, uh, sort of looking from the top down on top of the tree. The tree is pointing out across the water and I've got high enough now so that there's the tree's not touching any of the, the, the trees behind it. Um, but the light's gone off the top of the mountain now, so you're not getting that quite that same glow. So what I've plumped myself for is a long exposure and it's smoothed out all the water, so it's made it quite interesting. And what it is doing is you're just getting that glow on the on the bark on the side which I quite I quite like it's an interesting shot I'm not I don't remember seeing one from like that before so uh, it's definitely worth playing with I think I could just do with going in a bit tighter as well really but I think I'll leave it as it is but like I say there's there's no there's no cloud or anything now uh, no color no light so it's a very boring you know flat image um, but the long exposure does make it a little bit fine arty, if there's such a word. I thought while I'm here I'd have a bit of a scouting mission. Just have a look and see what's around. I mean these boulders, these boulders look great. And you've got a big boulder out there, you've got rocks all the way along the side down here as well. So this all looks pretty interesting, so it's worth having a bit of a scout while I'm down here. Even looking back, you know, looking back across this coastline, you've got these lovely mountains in the background and the trees all sort of silhouetted in the sky. So it's not a bad image in, a, in all fairness it's quite nice you know you've got this lovely rock formation so it's worth having a bit of a scout wherever i'm on an area um i like to have a look there's a nice big tree down there as well and we've got a jetty so i wonder if it's worth finishing off with a long exposure of the jetty what do you think <laughs> When I got the shot of the jetty, uh, the jetty's now over that way, a little bit further away from me now. Um, and I took a couple of long exposures. I didn't really stop and talk about them because I wasn't overly impressed. I was trying to be a bit quirky with the tree branches or the, you know, leaning in. So I'll put it up on the corner so you can have a little bit of a nose and see what it looks like. Uh, and I've come down here and I tried to do a similar sort of thing with this. Um, in fact, I should have been here maybe. No, definitely where I was. I was a little bit further up and we had some light on the mountain in the background like we did earlier on so what i was doing is i was basically shooting through that little arch there um, and just trying to get the mountain lit up between i don't know if it works or not um, it was one of those things that i thought i'd try it and then i thought i'd quickly run down and before i got the big lens on unfortunately the light started to fade but if i have got it i'll put the panoramic together and i just took a, a quick finish of a panoramic with the last bit of the light going across the hilltop and i don't think i quite got it to be fair it was really really nice sort of almost a minute before i thought about it and then it went off as soon as i changed the lens off it went off but my memory card 2 is now full so that's me done i am definitely finished now